Well, and so here again, Constitutional Crisis Channel. And we're going to start off today with the current events. And this is one I'm sure you've seen on the internet, newspapers, whatever, which is, you know, Trump's highly controversial uh, repealing of the executive order of Obama about, you know, the immigrants coming in here as illegal immigrants. It's sort of, it's called a DACA program. Now, the thing of this is, as a matter of constitutional law, this is a no-brainer. I mean, if you think about it, what authority would the president have to make any orders at all concerning immigration, which is a subject matter virtually exclusively under the control of Congress? Now, the answer to that question is troubling, and it fits into a lot of the issues I've been telling you about over the course of the last year and a half, two years. And that is to say, anything that the president does with executive orders almost certainly has to be pursuant to his power as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Well, the obvious problem with that, over and above the, the fact that you're dealing with executive orders that would ostensibly work in states, which they can't do, is that where is a declared state of war, rebellion, or invasion which justifies the exercise of this type of power? And I bet you if you were a fly on the wall and the opposite of Trump and they're discussing the situation, they will be having very similar discussions to what I'm telling you. So it's a no-brainer constitutionally. Yeah, there's going to be some developments here that have to be dealt with, and maybe some people will end up, you know, being shipped back to where they came from, um, which is a tough thing. Uh, but at the moment, uh, and by the way, as you probably also know, Trump has given Congress six months to take some corrective action, quote-unquote, whatever that might be, and that's the proper course of action to take. If they do something and enact some laws, fine. I think everybody will be able to live with that. Although at the same time, I, I wow, well, it, it's difficult because, you know, you come in here in good faith and think, well, you're a citizen and you can be here. And to find out that you're not even a citizen at all, because all that is is 14th Amendment citizenship, and people have been following my videos, know exactly what I think about that contention. Um, but that said, uh, this is really quite easy, and Trump is getting a lot of flack from a lot of people that he shouldn't be getting flack from on this subject. And indeed, a lot of the corporations are taking a position against him, you know, for the obvious reason that without this kind of immigration, they're not going to be able to get cheap labor now, are they? They may actually have to pay American citizens, you know, a fairly livable wage, which would be considerably more than what they might be able to get away with otherwise. So we'll see how this one sorts out. This is obviously an ongoing thing. We don't know right now. Congress still has probably till the end of the year, if not a little bit beyond that, to act. Although, as you know, Congress has never been known for enacting things quickly. Although they've done so, you know, with the situations in Houston and Florida and the hurricanes there, uh, 15 or $16 billion, and it may get a lot more than that before everything is over. And that's the subject for a video for another day, because as far as I'm concerned, FEMA, and I recently discovered I have a relative that works for FEMA, who's in Florida right now as I'm speaking, uh, is not the agency that, I mean, they're completely unconstitutional. What's supposed to happen is the governor declares a state of emergency and requests help from the Congress, and they provide it directly to the governor and or the state legislatures, and they put endow money in there so that the states can distribute it. There's still going to be a lot of graft and corruption going on there, but it will be a hell of a lot more efficient than it would be doing it from Washington, D.C., as I'm sure they can tell you in Louisiana, given what happened there 15 years ago. And they're still suffering from that. So that said, this DACA thing will be interesting to see how it develops, uh, but I'm 100% behind Trump on this one. And that's saying something, because I've been, to this point, disappointed with the administration in many areas, but this isn't one of them. I mean, they're right, and it's just the way it is, and with difficult consequences, and there's going to be a lot of that in other areas, too, that if they take actions they should take, uh, well, this DACA stuff will pale in comparison. But we have to seriously do things to get our nation and republic back to where it should be. That is going to require changes. They can all be made. They can all be done, I think, comparatively quickly. And they can all be done by the members of the sovereign body politic of this nation and republic. So that said, uh, 
you know, I'll report back to you when there's more information to talk to you about on this one. By the way, I should note uh, that I would appreciate it if you would like my videos and tell your friends about them. And currently, we have for subscribers to my channel a 10% discount from my document packets that I have available that you'll see information below. And also, you can request it by email. I'll be happy to send you information about that. And you can get yourself a nice 10% discount. And the papers are very moderately priced as it is. You won't believe, uh, you know, the quality of the work I do and the price it is. And here I'm now sitting 21-0 and 0 with a victory in Merced, though it isn't officially on the record. And this victory could be the shot heard around the world in the 21st century before this one is all over. And you're going to get an update on that Merced case momentarily, so I won't talk about that here. But that said, you know, thanks for your support. And feel free to check in and email me with questions, comments, suggestions. C Caspari, C C A S P A R I, at L I B E dot com. And we can go from there. Thank you.